Wait, 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 wait. Take him! We got him, fish on. Fishing's always been a really important thing in my life. Growing up all the way from elementary school through middle school and high school, fishing was pretty much on my mind. Whether or not I had time to go work or go fishing, well, I always would usually choose fishing. And uh, sometimes that would happen actually, where we grew up on a farm, so it was like, come on, we need help on the farm. Well, if you wanna go work on the farm, you could do that or Sometimes you could go fishing and catch dinner and that kind of made up for it. So a lot of times I would definitely choose that. But with that being said, I haven't played Fishing Planet in probably about three years now. So I'm really not too familiar with what to do, but I have a little bit of an idea on like what to do. So basically what I'm saying is don't judge me. <laughs> what the heck was that? <laughs> oh my god so a little change of plans here i wasn't really getting too much action so i decided to go back grab a couple of catfish poles we're gonna try and cut yourself some big catfish okay we'll put it to 32 inches and we'll cast this one out maybe like three quarters of the way out there yeah that's actually a pretty good cast i want to put this over this direction here there we go okay so we're using crayfish and we're gonna cast out right out there maybe like that was way too far but right there is actually not a bad spot all right so we'll put that one there Oh my god, oh my god! <gasps> this is the first fish that we've had on in a long time of sitting here waiting. This... <laughs> wow. I don't even know how big it's gonna be. <laughs> it's a channel catfish. A 21 inch channel catfish. 5 pounder. It's our biggest one yet. So it's not exactly a giant, but it's a... Uh pretty good size one so there's actually been a little change of plans here and we decided to come out to the st. Croix to fish for some giant catfish in the meantime we're gonna cast for largemouth bass and see if we can't get some hits so first off let's actually set up our rod holder right there and let's cast out there this is number two so we'll be fishing for I think like 98 inches down for a liter That'll be good there. Put in the rod holder. And then we'll grab rod number three. That should be good too. And we'll cast this one out that way. All right. And we'll put that down there. Cool. Now we just gotta remember how to catch the fish when they bite. You know, for having glow-in-the-dark barbers, it's really hard to see those suckers out there. Could be because it's like right in the shadow there, but definitely looks like this bobber is getting a hit. I'm watching that bobber. It's definitely getting a hit. It's moving all around. I wish we could like zero in or zoom in so we can see a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I knew it. I told you it was getting a hit. Oh my God, pick it up. Pick it up. Get him. Oh, we got a fish on, guys. Fish on. Oh, man. <laughs> this is our first big fish that we've had in a while. This is pretty sweet. I uh, never really fished out here before. So technically, it'll be our first big fish or first fish in this area, period. I hope I have the drag set right. It seems like we do. And he's definitely pulling pretty decent. But this is pretty awesome. Wow. Nice little change of pace, you know, from... Uh, Hunting really hard out in Call of the Wild to come out here just relaxing, throw out a couple of bobbers with some big minnows and maybe get lucky and catch some nice catfish. Okay, so I think we're looking good. Maybe we should... No, our drag is looking good. Real speed is good. Maybe tighten the drag up a little bit. Okay. Think. Oh! No! No! Oh man, that's why I wish I would have known what the drag was. Now we lost pretty much everything here. Well, let's pull this pole back in. That was so unfortunate. Wow. 
Well, fortunately for us, we happen to have a backpack here, so we're going to throw on a new four-out hook, another large minnow, and get back out there and see if we can't catch some giant fish because, well, that was definitely one of them. But unfortunately, he got away. And also, I just realized that we're using 20-pound braided line. 20-pound test. That catfish just broke 20 pounds like it wasn't even there. Oh, wow. Well, let's try this one more time. We're gonna throw our rod holder back down there and cast out again. Same exact bait, everything is pretty much exactly the same. We're gonna try and cast right back out there. See if we can't get lucky enough to catch this monster catfish. This time I turned the drag down a little bit. So this time, hopefully, well, that doesn't happen again, basically. <laughs> oh, that was a big fish. That was a huge fish. I mean, I really don't catch that many big fish. And this would have been our first one out here too, so that would have just been something else, but well, it happens. Cast right back out there again. I was right though, it was cool. We could actually see the bobber moving around over there, so we definitely knew we had a hit. We are definitely getting a hit again in that exact same, which one, which one? Come on. Yes, we got him. Fish on. Okay. Let's try and not mess this up this time. We got the drag doing good. Oh! Okay, so just don't pull when it gets red. Why is the drag not going out? <laughs> what the heck is going on? Are you absolutely kidding me right now? <laughs> so the reel busted. Jeez. <laughs> How do I fix it? I can't even fix it. So what I realized was we had the wrong size reels for these rods and for the line. The line was plenty tough, but the reels were way small, which couldn't hold the uh, capacity of the line. So basically we went back, got some heavier duty reels. We have the rods that are strong, but now we have 20 pound test line and we have really strong reels. So hopefully this time, we won't lose them. <laughs> oh man, I really hope we can catch one of these fish. They're so big. So we'll cast right back out there again in that exact same location and place our reel and rod right back in the spot. The thing is, we're getting so many hits here that it doesn't even really pay to put it in the rod holder because it's like we're watching them hit it right in front of our eyes. Maybe we'll try and cast this one a little bit closer to here. Last time we cast a little bit more to the right and it didn't get a hit. Both times the one on the left is, is getting a hit basically. All right. Well, let's see if we can't get lucky this time. We're getting a hit. Take a look at the line on the left side. You can see how it's moving already. That's how I know there's a hit. And you can also see the bobber starting to go quite a bit down over there. I really wish you could like zoom in though and see a little bit better. Although I can't really see that far anyways, but... Well, while we're waiting, we're gonna throw a couple of casts out there. See if we can't get a nice largemouth. There, we got a fish on. This should be our first largemouth bass. Uh, it's actually a smallmouth bass. 16.9 incher. Not bad. I think we'll keep it because it's our first one. Oh! No, 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 no! What do we do? Oh, I can't do anything! Oh my god, hurry! Dude, grab the pole! Jeez! Set the hook! Oh my god! I can't move, we have a fish on! Oh! That fish was on for like 10 minutes straight! Holy! Wow, that's a huge fish! Oh my god. <laughs> he was on for so long. I forgot that you have to actually reel on the rod before you put it away. I mean, obviously in real life I would know that, but not so much on here. <laughs> That's a big fish. We've been sitting here reeling for probably like 10 minutes now, and I have yet to see this fish. I mean, it's pretty cool though. Catfish fight really hard in real life, so the fact that they fight really hard here, that's pretty awesome as well. Did it just jump out of the water? I heard something splash. We're only about 40 feet away from seeing this fish though. So I'm starting to get pretty excited. 
Don't go in the boat. No, no, no. Oh, good. Come on, fish. Get up here. Here he comes. <laughs> oh, that's a 40 inch, 19 pound blue cat. Impossible to place this fish in the current. Whatever, just said, I don't really care. He's huge to me. Well, there he is, guys. That's a 40 inch, 19 pound blue cat right there. And this is gonna be our first one that we've gotten. This is a beautiful fish. That's so cool. Um, but I don't even know if we can keep it. I don't really care too much though, cause that was so awesome to be able to catch that fish. All right, so we went back and grabbed a bigger keep net and this time we can keep a fish that weighs all the way up to 110 pounds. So if we catch anything that's gonna be 40 pounds plus, we'll be able to keep it. Which fortunately that one only weighed uh, 22 pounds, I think it was. So it's not that big a deal, we couldn't keep it. But the next one, I definitely wanna try and keep it. So we'll cast back out there again to our little hot spot and see if we can't catch something, well, maybe even bigger. Hey, we can actually see our bobber this time. And you know what else? I wanna cast this one kind of in the same spot. Whoa, no way, we're getting hit already. Oh man, I guess I can put it down, huh? Come on, grab the fish, grab the fish, dude. Grab it. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, he got off. Sugar. And that was fast. Way too fast. Didn't expect for that to happen. Whew. Let's cast back out there again. It's definitely a hot spot out there. Right out towards, there's like a little dock right there. If you look closely right there. And it casts right to the corner of that thing. And it works really, really good. Anyways, let's put our rod back down. I don't even know how we cast our other pole out there that far. <laughs> I, uh, for some reason I thought we were going to try and reel it in. I should have just put the pole down so then we could have, you know, picked up the other rod and yeah, but I messed up. We're definitely getting hit already though. Take a look at that already. Just barely cast it out there and we're getting a hit. Yeah, we got a hit. We're getting some notification. Wait, 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 wait. Take him. We got him. Fish on. All right. So I figured out a way to adjust the settings here so we can see. A little bit more of like what's going on with the reel, the bend of the rod, and the hook, basically. I didn't realize that that was actually the hook. See, I thought that that was a drag. But at the same time, we're using 20 pound tests and that fish weighed 20 pounds. So you can imagine what a, well, 30 plus pounder is going to fight like, basically. Imagine if we got a double. There's absolutely, oh, no, 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 no. How does that happen? <laughs> I don't even, do we need stronger lion or something? 20 pound test isn't, <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, we're back again. And this time we have some 40 pound test line, 40 pound braided line. And we also have new hooks. Well, the same hooks, but they're four out. Grab some more hooks, grab some more minnows. And let's see if we can catch some fish this time. I doubt they're gonna break 40 pound tests, but you never know. I mean, these are some pretty big fish here. We're fishing for between 20 to 40 pound fish, so who knows how big they actually are and how strong they actually are too. So what I'm wondering though is why our gauge wasn't working. I think it should be working now. I'm going to do a little test first. Put a cast out here. And then we'll see if we get some friction going on. Oh yeah, it's working now. Definitely working now. Okay, good. See how it's blue at the bottom? Last time it wasn't doing that for some reason. I really don't know why, but all right, let's cast out there and try and catch one of these giants. Same exact spot every single time, right off the corner of that little raft right out there. And uh, honestly, I don't even know why we put the rod back down because it gets action so fast. It doesn't even really pay, but well, let's see if we get one. And we'll cast this one back out there too. All right. Yeah, I actually made the bobber so they're a little bit bigger now and we can see them quite a bit better. I actually like that a lot. But do we even cast for bass at this point or do we just watch the bobber? I don't even want to lose this fish this time. It's like they keep hitting so many times that I really... Yep. Yeah. 
There we go, fish on, finally. See if we can get one in this time. Oh my God, these fish are so big. He's about to take all our line. We gotta turn the drag up. I can't do anything about it. Can't risk losing this fish. We do have 40 pound test on now, but 280 feet, that's way too close to losing all of our line. Oh my God, how's this fish so strong? Come on, I can't do anything. He's gonna take all our line. I mean, what do you do? <sighs> oh, I knew we were getting a hit. Yeah, definitely getting a hit. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Grab the pole. That's a fish on. Yeah. It's like the worst feeling when you have your line all the way out there and all of a sudden you get a hit on a different pole. What are you supposed to do? I mean, in real life, I would basically just drop one rod and grab the other rod, I suppose. But here you can't just do that. You have to reel it all the way in or set it down. You know what I realize? I think I could probably set it. Oh, I think I could probably set it on uh, the other rod holder. I don't know why I didn't think of that before, to be honest. I could totally do that. I have spot for three rods, maybe even four rods actually. Dang, that's a big fish. Look at the bobber coming up here pretty soon. Only about 40 feet out from us, but definitely a big fish. He's not quite ready to come in just yet. Still pulling out there pretty hard. He's only 30 feet out, but so got a good ways to go to get him in here. Oh, 20 feet, come on. Come on. Get in here. All right, we got him. What'd we catch? That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. A 50 inch, 39 pound trophy blue catfish right there. And we got him on 40 pound test. So basically you barely had enough weight to be able to fight this fish, but a 50 inch catfish is just a giant catfish. Definitely going to keep them, but I want to get a picture of them first. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's incredible. I mean, the fact that we had like four catfish on and we lost all four huge catfish. I'm talking, they're probably between 30 to 50, well, 30 to 40 pounds. And we lost three of them. And we finally got one and it's actually a trophy catfish and it weighed 40 pounds. I'm just so grateful that we're finally able to make this happen. I really am. <sighs> okay, let's figure out a way to keep this thing. And we're gonna get 1800 cash for that, 399 XP. That is so cool. We ended up catching our first catfish before and the catfish that we caught, um, I think he was like a 20 pound catfish, like a 40 inch or something like that. And we didn't have a big enough keep net so we couldn't actually keep that fish. Well, now we actually were able to keep a giant trophy catfish. I'm so happy. Okay, so if you guys wanna know where we just caught that giant trophy catfish, I'm gonna show you here in just one second. Basically, the way to find it is if we go to the map, it's gonna be this location right here at the uh, fairy tale fishing. Is that actually what it's called? Yeah, that's what it's called. Fairy tale fishing at St. Croix Lake, and it was 5:50 in the morning, right there. And then basically, what happens is you get to here. But what the most important part is, you come to the corner of this little dock here. Okay, there we go. We can use this for a pointer for now. So it's this little kind of dock over there. I think it's a dock. I can't actually tell what it is, but basically right there is one point of it and right there's the other point of it. On the right side of whatever that is, you literally want to cast right exactly next to that little corner. As close as you can get to that corner, the better. So I'll just try and cast out there to show you what I'm talking about. You want to be 
You want to be like right there, but a little bit further than that because I can't cast any further with this thing. But basically you want to be pretty much in that exact location. Well guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you enjoyed fishing out on Fishing Planet. That's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.